guys, Shebear1000 here. Today, we're going to be checking out this Sharp Digital View Cam that I bought. Been a couple months ago, several months ago, and I never did a video on it. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so a few months ago I bought this camera. Um, I didn't really care about the camera. I mostly wanted the bag. I think I gave five bucks for it or something because it's a nice little bag. Um, it's got some pockets here on the sides. Well, it's got one pocket on the side. It's got this pocket up front here. She can put stuff in. Um, it's got another little strap inside there. You can hold things, extra stuff. Um, nice little feet on the bottom of it. Got a long handle or the short handle. Um, I like these short handles, but I usually use these if I'm going somewhere I can carry it. Um, so I bought it for the bag. Uh, I don't know what the exactly what the bag is the name's missing off of it other than that it is in excellent shape well it came with the camera it has the book with it it is a sharp model VL-NZ50U this is the operation manual um, the bag has Also got this um, little zipper thing in here you can put stuff in. It's got extra tapes with it. Um, it takes these takes these little tapes here, which you can still buy and they're very cheap. Um, this camera, I have plugged it in and stuff. I know the battery is no good, but it does power up. The screen is not is not the greatest, um, but it does power up. But what I have found about this thing, there's the lens cap that goes with it, is uh, it, it will it will shoot in. Um, 16.9 or 4.3 um, it will take still images but what I did find out about it is down inside here see it's just like a little mini um, just like a, a, a little mini uh, you know uh, VCR is what it is. There's a piece down inside here that was sitting down inside of it. So it's not going to play tapes. Um, it does work. It'll rewind them and everything. It'll operate, but it won't play them because it's got, which that's going to be a separate video. It's got a piece that I had taken out of it that needs to be um, put back on, and we'll see if we can't fix that someday. But like I said, it will power up if I plug it in. All right. This is kind of cool because you know what if you know what if you want to take a selfie? There's the screen, right? But it flips around. You can flip the screen, like so. You can look up, you know, look up at it. So that is pretty cool. So I thought that was neat, you know, for five bucks just for that. Uh, it does have AV output. Um. It's got, let's see here, DV, it's, it's got your ports there, there's the port we're going to be using today because we're going to use it on the computer. And this will charge your battery, also you can, um, you can run the camera with that. So I've got a cord from, from my JVC, I can plug into this and I'll show it to you, let me scoot you over here a little bit. And we're gonna 
that's uh, powered on to camera and that's over here on the side you push that little button turn it you can hear it beep and there it is now as you can see there's no tape in it so, so what we're going to do is let's see where's the zoom button here It's got manual focus, auto focus. Uh, it does have a bunch of different stuff on it. Um, fade, you know, it's, it does have a little cosmetic wear down here at the bottom. But hell, for five bucks, I bought the bag. I didn't even know the camera was in it. This is like the second one I've bought like that. I didn't know the camera was in it because the guy said 10. I said, no, I'll give you five. He said, well, there's a camera in there. I said, does it work? He said, I don't know. I said, five bucks. He said, okay. So if anything, I can use this, you know, at the computer, um, which that's what we're going to do next. Uh, we're going to take it in, plug it into the computer, and we'll we'll see how it records. I do, I do think the mic it does work, um, and I'm saying that because there's no damage there. Sometimes you'll see damage up there, and the mic doesn't work that great, but we're going to be checking it out anyway. So, um, let's take it in the house. That's pretty cool. And then I can flip that around. Okay, isn't that cool? So, let's take it into the house and we will uh, plug it in. We'll check the mic. It is in stereo. I see the right and left there. Um, it will take still images. Okay, it just took a still image, um, so I don't know if it's got a memory card in it or what. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to read up on it too a little bit first. So, let's go ahead. <laughs> I'm just leaving it in there. It's not even going to be an outtake. <laughs> Should have, should have took a still image of that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and read up on this. We'll take it in, plug it in. We'll go from there. All right, guys, here we are. This is the camera up here. I've got it on a, one of my little tripods there in the back. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's turn this on. There we go. See? That's what I was talking about. The screen's kind of got a haze. Uh, but I don't think it'll come out on this, but we're going to find out. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I've got down here, I've got this. It's a capture card. This thing was like $7, uh, maybe 10 but I might have got it on sale for 7 I've also got this. It's called a Dazzle. It's a capture card. This is pretty good. Uh, but I think on this, I can only use uh, the mic on here for some reason because my mic's messed up, remember? Well, my mic's not, but my, uh, what do you call it? Um, yep. Anyway, it's, it's a sound card, okay? Um, so we got this on here. So first, let's open this up here. And okay, we're gonna to go to this now. Now this is um, this is Power Director 16, I do believe. So let's get this let's get this up here. All right, let's go to capture. Now while that's doing its thing, we'll pull this around here. Sorry, it's in your way, but okay. So now, as you can see. It's working fine. Can you see that? No, because the mic's in the way there. Alright, see? So, it is working fine. Alright, I've got, I've got it in 4.3 because if, if I put it in 16.9, um, I believe once I go to render it, i got to stretch it out anyway. Because you got bars on, on the top and bottom and then on the left and right. So, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record something with this. And then I'll show you how, 
Okay, so let's start to record. As you can see, it's uh, again, it's it's working fine. It'll zoom. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little record button. We're going to talk for a second. Check, check one two one two. Check, check one two three four. We're using this mic here. Okay. Now I'm going to hit this. It should bring it up over here, right in here. There it is. I'm going to hit OK. There it is. So let's bring it up here to edit. All right. So this is kind of a how-to video as well. So there it is. It's here. We are over here. Now, you see that? See this is our. This is what we just did. It's down here on my timeline. Okay. And it's over here. I see that's in. 16 or it's in 4.3 okay but let's see how it sounds okay cool all right I see it's got like that skippy but when it skips like that um, it, it doesn't do that in rendering okay now I want to put this in 16.9 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here I'm going to click on that I'm going to highlight it blue alright now I'm going to right click it and here's all your options go down here to set clip attributes alright let me see if I can zoom in on that for you okay set clip attributes then I'm going to go to set aspect ratio. Okay. I'm going to clip attributes, set aspect ratio, and it'll bring this up. See? Uh, detect aspect ratio automatically. Okay. Project aspect ratio is 16.9. The aspect ratio of the video is 4. Point, you guys can't see nothing. All right. It's 4.3. It's got other options down here. Let me back you out a little bit here okay uh, and it, it tells you here tradition about the traditional television screens have a 4.3 aspect ratio new HD to, uh, widescreen television sets have a 16.9 aspect ratio okay so um, you can just click on that and make sure this is set see make sure it's set to 16.9 and it'll stretch it out we're going to hit OK now watch this over here. See that? Oh, you didn't see it. All right. Um, okay, let me do that again so you guys can see it. Let's undo that. Okay, so now that's that's what I'm going to do. And watch this. Watch the uh, watch over here. Um, right click, set clip attributes, set aspect ratio. Now here we go. I'm going to click that. Now as soon as I hit OK, watch this. It'll make it full screen. There you go, just like that, and there is our our clip. Okay. Now, what what I want to do? I'm going to take this out. I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to remove this. All right. Um, now we're going to go to capture again and down here there's a settings down here okay uh, there's a microphone setting okay so let's click on settings that's video setup so I want to go to the highest resolution now microphone okay it says USB device that's because it's not picking up that mic up there now the other one will pick up this mic or this one of the two okay so one of them picks up the mic on that and not the boom mic and the other one will pick up the mic the boom mic but not this one so this one here okay see it's just picking up this mic right here so we're going to click OK um, now what I can do is I can uh, Open sound settings, uh, sound control panel. 
and over here at speakers not speakers but uh, we're going to go to uh, recording and that gives me my microphone there okay so now this would be the microphone for the camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this Oops, hang on. I'm going to right click it disable it alright now I'm going to uh, microphone AV to USB 2.0 which is the sound or the the card the card there okay now we're going to enable it alright we're going to click apply and okay now we're going to be using that mic there okay I usually use the boom mic whenever I can or my lapel mic okay now so when we record it should be recording from from the camera okay so we're going to record again check one two audio check visual check 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 one two three four check okay we're going to stop it again it's going to come up here click on that now there it is okay so let's go to edit there it is all right we're going to click let's go ahead and do our aspect ratio again okay all right now let's play it and you'll hear see if this microphone's working i'm guessing it's working because you've seen it on the uh the green light up and stuff so but it's not okay all right so now okay let's go let's get out of this no I don't want to save any of that that's just testing purposes no all right now what I'm gonna do um, you like my screensaver? I took this picture myself at Flagler Beach. So now we're going to unplug this. Okay, we're going to unplug it from here and we're going to put it into Dazzle. Okay, oh crap. All right, well, we're just going to have to deal with it now across the screen. Okay, like that. But what are you gonna do, right? Okay, so now dazzle. I bought this for ten bucks um, at a flea market, and uh, I think they go for sixty bucks. You can get them on sale for forty. Um, but uh, I got it, and it never been registered, so that was good. It was still in the package. Of course, I still got the package. All right, make this bigger. Okay, now on this one's a little different. We're going to go to import. All right, it's going to bring up this. See, it's working. That camera, the mic on that camera. Okay. See, you're getting feedback. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set dazzle video capture there's a little arrow arrow there I've got it on video composite as you can see the microphone is working okay now we're gonna um, there gives you an option right there I don't know if you can see it and you can adjust your um, but first first thing I'm gonna do is set it to 16.9 there we go that's gonna give us our full screen then you can set your brightness however you want it. You can set your color. Let's turn the brightness now. You can set your color. All this crap. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So you, can, you can do it in black and white. You can get. It's just. It's amazing what you can do with it. See. So what I'm going to do is reset that. I'm going to put it back into 16.9, okay? X out of that. Now, down here at the bottom, we're going, whoops, I'm backwards. It says start capture, okay? So what we're going to do, I hit start capture. 
now we're recording. We should be recording audio and everything like that. Let's do our zoom. Zoom. Zoomed in on you guys. Okay, check, check. One, two, one, two. Okay, we're going to start capture or stop capture. And there it is. It's coming up here. See, it's already over here. See there? All right. Now, and it's over here. So now we're going to X out this. And we're going to bring this. We're just going to click and slide this down here on our timeline like that. And, whoops. All right. Now, we're going to hit play. And this is where we go. Audio and everything like that. Let's do our zoom. Zoomed in on you guys. See, so there it is. Okay, check, check one, two, one, so two, it seems to be two. checking out all right. Well, once I get the tape fixed, the tape player part of it fixed, um, it should be a decent camera. I'll have to get a battery, but I'm not going to buy a battery um, until I can get it fixed because you know like I said I've got it I've just got it plugged in right now and it's working fine and I'll just use it for stuff like this so there you go guys also you got a little how-to uh, video in it as well so that's pretty cool so I'm going to get out of this I'm going to take this out uh, da -da 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 -da. delete it I'm going to delete this where is it? Delete selected. And move from monitor. Okay. Alright. So there you go. Okay guys, now the next scene that you're gonna see just a couple second clip is from the Dazzle, which also comes with its editing its own editing software. It's called Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle. Um I don't think the clarity's as good on that, but I'll show you that, and then my outro will be with uh, Power Director 16. So check it out. Now I can make uh, my old cameras turn into full screen uh, in more detailed in depth. I think I've done one, but I can do one again too. If you want to see that kind of stuff, uh, let me know. All right, guys. So there you go. You kind of got three videos in one there um, you got a product review video of the camera you got a flea market slash yard sale find of the camera and you also got kind of a, a real real quick just a basic uh, how-to video um, on how I kind of how, how you can see how how to change aspect ratio and I did a video one other time um, explaining how to do that but I can do more of those videos like how I edit my videos what editors I use which ones uh, my favorites and stuff like that um, that way you know it, it'll be an in-depth how-to and plus you're getting some insight on um, why I use different um, editors for uh, different things uh, my go-to just a quick one like this I'll probably just use uh, use my movie maker but on uh, you know like if I got to do split screen or something like that like right now I'm using power director with the camera we reviewed uh, a lot of times I'll use the uh, the dazzle um, it's pretty good it's it's uh, it's 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 all good good software um, but uh, the power director it's it's power director 15 but I upgraded it to uh, 16 so um, there you guys go uh, hope you have a great weekend I want to thank everybody for watching hope everyone's feeling well sorry I haven't uploaded in a couple days uh, I think I mentioned I'd lost my voice I don't know if I had laryngitis or what but I lost my voice for a couple days uh, and then yesterday I wasn't feeling well so I kind of didn't didn't do much yesterday so I uh, kind of took it easy a little bit but anyway guys there you go thanks again appreciate it Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out BXX32. Ben, you're doing an awesome job. Keep it up. Uh, don't forget to check out Monkey1000. You keep it up too, hon. You're doing pretty good. Uh, very good. Awesome job. So uh, can't wait to see more videos from you guys. And so that being said, 
I'm out. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend.